Hello everyone, Matt Hoots here. I'm with Chris with April Air, and we're going to talk about filtration. Uh, most people, you know that, that you know we've got the mask on. We we have to deal with filtration, and the mask, but also there's there is a mask for a whole house that can get all the particulates out of the air. And not every filter is created the same. There's uh, different uh, layers of filters that you can get. You've got different ratings for filters, where it filters out small particulates, large particulates. Chris is going to go over this and also talk about why it's important to have a filter in a case so you don't get any particulates to go around the filter because otherwise if you have things getting around the filter why even have a filter in the first place yeah so as matt mentioned not all filters are created equal and that's 100 percent true majority of filters that you see maybe you have a one inch filter that just slides into your furnace and it's got this big open slot what that does is that a lot of that allows a lot of air to blow right by that and it's not even filtered and it's in a basement that's damp, it's musty, it's unhealthy. So with our filter cabinets, what we assure is that you're filtering almost 100% of the air that's going through it. We have a sealed system, rail system on the top and the bottom. And then on the front of it, we allow an overhang that seals on the front door area along with gaskets here. That way, that assures that we're forcing that air through that filter. The air actually doesn't want to go through the filter. It wants to go around it. So that way, we're creating that force field of filtering the air. And then what it comes down to is how efficient is this filter for you? And you can see that we have different levels of filtration based on the needs in the home. We have a MERV 11 filter, a MERV 13, a MERV 13 with carbon, and a MERV 16. So if you have something as simple as just trying to create a, a cleaner, healthier home, a MERV 11 might do a great job for you. But maybe you have a high uh, susceptibility to allergies or asthma, you might need something like a MERV 16. And the great news is, is when you have the April Air Air Cleaner cabinet in your home, you can interchange any one of these MERV ratings in that cabinet assuring that you have a cleaner home, a healthier home, you've got maintained airflow, and you've got the cleanest HVAC system out there. Got it, so let's talk about why this cabinet right here, the typical standard off the box is that the protects the equipment is one inch thick. So this is thicker than one inch. Why is this not only one inch? Yeah, that's a great question. Well, and it goes into what we call surface loading versus depth loading. One inch filters are, are surface loading. So as that particulate's floating down, it captures right here. The difference with a four inch filter, as you see it here, is this is a deep filter. In fact, if we were to take this out, cut the ribbons and stretch this out, Matt, we'd have 28 square feet of surface area. What that does, is that allows those smaller particulates to get stuck farther in maintains efficiency in that airflow and gives you a lot longer life expectancy out of your filters. All right, so one of the concerns that people have like with those, those thinner filters is that if you put a, a, a MERV 13, like it's only one inch, you're gonna create a lot of resistance right. and you're gonna create a pressure drop, which could void the warranty on some of the, the, the HVAC equipment. So what kind of pressure drop do you typically have with one of these kind of filters? Yeah, that, that's a really, really good question. That goes back into the design first. So let's, let's take one step back. When you look at a cabinet and you look at the size of the cabinet, that's where we should be sizing the, to the system requirements. If we said that a 16 by 25 filter cabinet was for a five ton system, we would increase that static pressure very quickly. At the same time, if we took that same cabinet, we took out a MERV 11 and put a 16, we're gonna see a higher restriction. So the most important aspect to that is putting in the right size filter cabinet that will allow the right size filter to accept that airflow going through it. We want to stay right, we want as low as pressure drop as possible. So if we can stay right around that 0.1 to 0.15 range, you're giving the HVAC equipment a little bit more pressure to be at that recommended level that the equipment manufacturers look for. So basically just like Texas, you know, size does matter. And, uh, right. and, and really oversizing, it, it doesn't sound like that's, I mean, you don't want to oversize equipment, but it's, it's okay to oversize your filter. Yeah, all you would do is you would you'd create that, that lower resistance, but you're maximizing the filter performance. Got it, well, I appreciate it. So what can they find out about more about this? And like, 
can consumers buy this off the shelf or they, they typically need to partner with their HVAC contractor, right? Yeah, a lot of times you can work directly with your heating and cooling contractor that comes in and does the annual maintenance for you. They should have complete access to that. You can also go to aprilair.com and it's called Find a Pro. That will also direct you right to a contractor that can offer you the right solution for your home. Got it, so let's talk about people that have like an apartment, condo or something like that. They've got a um, ductless mini split and obviously this works with a ducted system. You guys also have some standalone filtration options for those people that don't have the benefit of having a ducted system. The only product that we have that works with ductless systems is, is, is an air purifier. It's a yeah. standalone air purification system. And that system at least assures you a good filtration air, it, it, to that specific area. Yeah, so these are room by room, it's not a whole house. Obviously, the benefit of a ducted system is you can't add this air filter to it, where the ductless systems, you have to add those standalone units to be able to filter the air. Absolutely. Got it, well, I appreciate your time, thank you. Thank you, Matt.